So, I might have been in a really big Dungeon World kick recently. Don't panic, the D&D videos aren't going anywhere. But I've been thinking a lot specifically about Adventure Fronts and how it's a great way to prep an adventure for any game, including Dungeons & Dragons. It's not the whole stretch, but it's the core concept that'll get you on the right track. So I figured, OI! Asshole! Make a video about that! So, uh, I guess, here's my asshole, and a video about it. The Rise of the Bullfrog King! An Adventure by Evil Squeegee. Forgive me while I read this off. I tried to deliver this line like seven times, but fuck it. Deep in the swamps of Kulthakar, there lurks an elder beast, long forgotten by history, and until now content simply to live its life in peace. The great bullfrog of Kulthakar, the greatest and eldest of its kind, has recently been mutated by the magics of the Sorcerer King. The Bullfrog King has gained a malevolent sentience, and it demands retribution on the races of man for its abandonment so long ago. The obvious danger in this adventure here is going to be the Bullfrog King. If you're ever at a loss for what he should do based on your player's actions, remember that his impulse is to conquer. He wants to take what is not his and make it his. He wants to take control of the situation and command. That's his base instinct. That's what he's going to do if you don't have something specifically planned for him to do. That's why in the notes you'll notice that we've written impulse to conquer. Next up, the grim portents and impending doom. If you're not familiar with this format, basically, this is what will happen if the PCs don't stop it from happening. The PCs might arrive and some of this may have already happened because they weren't already interfering. Maybe they hear about it, but don't do anything about it. Or maybe they just don't have any ideas on what to do. If there is inaction or if the PCs fail in their actions, you march right down the list of the grim portents to the impending doom. This is your ultimate price for failure. If at any point the player character's actions would stop this train from rolling, then the train stops rolling. If they kill the Bullfrog King before the impending doom, great, they've saved the day. That's the whole point. The grim portents and the impending doom in order are 1. Igor, performing a dark ritual on the Sorcerer King's behalf, accidentally grants the Bullfrog King his malevolent sentience. 2. The Bullfrog King drives out all wildlife from the marsh except for the frogs. Three. The frogs begin to mutate into giant, demonic frogs with demonic powers like demonic fire and demonic hypnotism. 4. When the Bullfrog King amasses a big enough bullfrog army, he attacks the village! Specifically, the village the player characters are in at the time, the one that is closest to the marsh. If the Bullfrog King wins that battle, he will hypnotize all the survivors and march them on to the next village with an even bigger army. This process will continue, and if he is not stopped, he will enslave and destroy the entirety of the kingdom. Now that's a really cool fantasy threat that player characters will have to deal with, but what else is going on here? What makes this a really cool story and not just a fight with a giant bullfrog? Well, that's where we get to cast members. So what are the important NPCs here? Clearly, you've got Igor. He's got to be around, so we should have notes about him. I figure Igor is the kind of guy that's really scary cat and easily cowed. That's why he's probably working for the Sorcerer King. In addition to that, he's probably not very good at keeping a secret. So you might make a note somewhere where if there's an opportunity for Igor to spill a secret about the Sorcerer King, he can. Then let's add Delilah. Delilah is a local villager. She has dreamt of greater things for herself since the beginning of her life. She's made of tough stuff and she wants to be a hero. And finally, let's add Thomas. Thomas will be a memorable NPC because he's a doubting Thomas. You just can't believe what's going on. Next up, with our NPCs, now I have some idea for stakes. Stakes are the questions that we as the Dungeon Masters don't answer. They're really the point of the adventure. Obviously, you have your big dramatic question where you're asking, oh gee, I don't know, will the player characters actually kill a giant frog or will the frog kill the giant characters? That's great. But what about the rest of the adventure? What about the rest of the story? Let's add some depth. Let's make something the player characters might care about happen and not decide the outcome because that way we can base the outcome on our player characters' actions. Stakes I wrote down are one, will Delilah succeed in becoming a hero or fail and possibly die trying? Two, what secret will Igor actually spill about the Sorcerer King if he does? And three, will the doubting Thomas learn the error of his ways or will his doubting ways be the end of him? And finally, what to do if you want to run this adventure, but you've already got a campaign going. 
The first step is realizing that this whole story can happen if the Sorcerer King and Igor aren't a part of it. They're tied to each other, and we use them to trigger the whole situation, but ultimately, any situation can cause the Bullfrog to gain the sentience and go marching onto the kingdom. I mean, if you stop to think about it, humans are pretty punchable people, and the Bullfrog doesn't need a big magical ritual to decide that. So you can replace the Sorcerer King with any BBEG you please. It could be God, it could be the Devil, it could be your Lich, it could be anyone. It could be the result of some magical catastrophe that your player characters probably caused in the previous adventure. The Sorcerer King and Igor are just excuses if you lack them to have the adventure happen anyways. They're both easily struck from the record like the vile, evil, toilet stains they are. The important part is Hypnotoad on meth. This is also part in an adventure where for Dungeon World I like to write a custom move, but for Dungeons & Dragons you can homebrew a little bit. For example, the Hypnotoads and all their hypnotic powers could easily just be suggestion, but that strikes me as a little boring. Instead, I might propose a different hypnotism power. I would personally draw from the Drow poison mechanic where how much you fail by changes what happens. The power might say that you have to follow the spirit of the rule if you fail by enough, but if you fail by less than five, you can twist the spirit of the rule as long as you stick to the letter. Another possible interpretation could be that you just have disadvantage whenever you do something that isn't what the Hypnotoad wants you to do. I feel like these options maintain a level of player agency in the story while still being able to use the hypnotism for some really cool plot twists and intense moments. All right, guys. I'm Evil Squeegee. Let me know what you think about the adventure below. Did it give you any ideas? Do you have any questions about adventure fronts or whatever? I'll answer what I can. I will catch you guys later. Adios.